Hello, I'm Livy Bolan and today I will show you how to install Xdebug on Ubuntu server. First, before showing you how to install Xdebug, uh, I want to uh, tell you something. Do not install Xdebug on a production environment. You will have security problems and also this will make your machine work slower. So, if you don't install Xdebug on a production environment, and you are on a development or testing environment, I will show you how to install Xdebug. First, I will connect to a virtual, virtual machine using SSH Ubuntu VM. Uh, next, in order to show you uh, if Xdebug is installed or, or not, I will use php-v. This will show you the PHP version number uh, PHP 559, the build date, and also uh, some additional packages installed with PHP, such as Zend Opcache, which is installed by default on PHP 5.5. Uh, the next step is to switch to another user, Livio.Balan, which is a user I use on this uh, virtual machine to create files in PHP or Apache 2. Then go to the location um, of um, go to the location of the root directory for your virtual host. In my case, var www.http.livibalan.com. And here, I will create two files. First, um, I will create php dot uh, php info dot php. In this file. I will copy and paste this code sample. Uh, this is only calling the PHP info um, function. Right and quit. And the next step is to create another file, array.php. In this file, in this file, I will um, copy and paste this code. This is only, as you can see, this is only an array and use vardam to show this array. Right and quit. And the next step is to open a web browser, Mozilla Firefox in this case, and call these uh, URLs, php info, and then array.php from http.reviewbalan.com uh, domain. Uh, as you can see here, if I search for uh, xdebug, nothing here. This is because xdebug is not installed here. And also, look at how this uh, array is shown. It's only a flat text, a plain text. Uh, next, in order to install xdebug, I will open another tab, connect using SSH to my machine using SSH Ubuntu VM, and then I will use sudo apt get update, enter the sudo password. And then use sudo apt get install php5 dash xdebug. After this, if I use php minus v, you will see that xdebug is installed on my uh, virtual machine. The next step is to search for a file. named uh, xdebug.so. To do this, I use sudo find uh, slash minus name xdebug.so. What this is doing is to search inside of my root uh, directory slash for the file named xdebug.so. And I used the sudo 
uh, command because here I'm having some um, directories and files which uh, cannot be accessed uh, uh, cannot be accessed by regular users. So this is the location of the uh, xdebug package that I will use. And the next step is to configure uh, php.ini. The location for php.ini is this one, atc php5 uh, apache2 php.ini, and I will, I will edit it with sudo writes. Here at the end of the file, I will copy and paste this code section And what this uh, section is doing is to create another, so this will create another section. And in this section, I will put some xdebug um, options. This is the location of xdebug that I previously uh, find. And these are some xdebug options. Now, in order to apply these changes, I will have to restart the Apache web server. So type sudo uh, service apache2 restart. Now, if I go to the previous two URLs and hit the reload button, You will see here the xdebug section and a lot of options here. Also, if I go to the second tab and hit the refresh button, you will see that uh, the result is formatted differently. Also, if you will take a look in the source file using Ctrl U, you will see that here xdebug var dump is a uh, CSS class which is used. So if you see this uh, format for using Vardamp, uh, you may figure out that xdebug is installed on that machine. So this is how you install xdebug uh, on Ubuntu server. If you want to learn more about PHP, Apache, and uh, web technologies, uh, you can check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website, livyubalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.